Right, in this question, we are asked to find a formula for the nth derivative of this function. And then we're supposed to prove that formula with mathematical induction. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite f of x slightly. I'm going to write it as x plus 1 to the minus 1. f prime of x, the first derivative, will be minus 1, bring down the minus 1, x plus 1 to the minus 2. Second derivative, bring down the minus 2, I get a 2, x plus 1 to the minus 3. Third derivative, bring down the minus 3, I'll get minus 6, x plus 1 to the minus 4. Fourth derivative, as soon as we get to the fourth, you put the 4 in parentheses, Parentheses means derivative, so that's fourth derivative. If you didn't have the parentheses, that'd be f to the fourth power. So you need the parentheses there. Okay, now bring down the 4, and we're left with positive 24, x plus 1 to the minus 5. All right, so now I think we can see some patterns. Let's go straight to the nth derivative of x. Not easy, but we can figure some stuff out. So let's start with the easy part. Now, you see a negative 2 here, and it's the first derivative. Negative 3, and it's the second derivative. So that's negative n plus 1. Right, so if I plug in a 6 here, 6 derivative, it should be to the minus 7. 6 plus 1 multiplied by a negative. All right, that's the easy part. The second part that would be easy would be this alternating negative. Starts out as negative, positive, negative, positive. I can assume the next one would be negative when I bring down the 5, and the following one after that will be positive. So it alternates. If I want to alternate between negative and positive, I'll just have a negative 1 times to the n. Now let's see what that does. If I plug in 1 here, the first derivative, that's negative. If I plug in 2, plug in 2 here, negative 1 squared is positive. Plug in 3, negative 1 cubed is negative. Okay, so it looks like it's working to the n power. This number is probably the hardest part. In order to get 2 here, what happened? Well, I multiplied the 2 by the 1 to get 2. In order to get 6, what did I get? Well, I went into 1 times 2, the 1 times the 2 times the 3. In order to get the 24, I went the 1 times 2 times the 3 times the 4. Okay, in order to get the next one, I'll go 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. That should be a huge tip off as n factorial. n factorial literally means the integers multiply together all the way up to n. So the fourth, uh, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. So there's my formula. Okay. So this is what we need to prove with mathematical induction. So, step number one. Show it's true for n equals 1. We've basically already done this, but let's just do it. So, f parentheses 1, or f prime of x plug in 1, we get a negative, plug in 1 here, we get just 1, x plus 1, to the plug in 1 here, we get minus 2. And you can see that's identical to what we got for the first derivative. Okay, step number 2, assume true for n equals k. Got the r here. So that means the f kth derivative will equal negative 1 to the k, k factorial, x plus 1 to the minus k plus 1, kth derivative. 
then it says show true for n equals k plus 1. So what we need to do is our goal, I'll write a goal over here, f to the k plus 1 derivative should be negative 1 to the k plus 1 k plus 1 factorial x plus 1 to the minus k plus 2. So this is our goal. So in order to do this, all I need to do is take the derivative of k, the kth derivative, and show that it's this. And then that'll be done. So f to the k plus 1 I have, this is a constant, negative 1 to the k. This is also a constant, k, pri k prime, or k factorial. Now take the derivative of this piece, bring this power down. So I'll have negative k plus 1 times x plus 1 to the minus k plus 1 uh, minus 1. Okay, so now we have a negative, that's a negative 1, negative 1 times negative 1 to the k is negative 1 to the k plus 1. k factorial times k plus 1 is k plus 1 factorial, x plus 1 to the uh, and this can be simplified straight to k plus 2 negative k plus 2. And the fourth step, uh, you should know your statement now, I'm not going to write the whole thing out, uh, not too difficult, but hope this helps.